In this video, we're going to do an example of an object that has negative velocity and is accelerating with negative acceleration. And to reemphasize some of the points that we made in the last video, we said that the sign of the velocity term tells you the direction in which the object is traveling. We can also indicate this with a velocity vector. So in this case, we said that this indicates that the object will be traveling in the positive direction, in this case, the positive x direction. And this velocity vector would indicate that the object is traveling in the negative x direction. We then also said that the acceleration term does not indicate the direction in which the object is traveling. All the acceleration vector or term or sign is the direction in which the velocity of the object changes. So as an example, let's suppose we have an object traveling with velocity in this direction, which we're going to indicate with a velocity vector, and it's going to accelerate in this direction. In the last video, we said that when the velocity and acceleration vectors point in the same direction, we said that the object's going to speed up. And in this video, I'd like to do an example where the velocity and acceleration are both negative. So in this example, this is going to be our coordinate system. To the right is going to be the positive x direction. And we're going to have a car. And this car is going to have some velocity in the negative x direction. So this car is going to be traveling in the negative direction. And let's say the initial velocity of this car, let's say that the initial velocity is negative 5 meters per second. And I'm indicating the direction of this car with this negative sign. It's traveling in the negative x direction. Now in this case, let's say that this car reaches a final velocity of negative 25 meters per second. So in this case, this car is going to go from an initial velocity of negative 5 meters per second to a final velocity of negative 25 meters per second. And let's say that it takes a time of 4 seconds to change this object's velocity from negative 5 meters per second to negative 25 meters per second. Now the question is, what is the acceleration of this object? And in which direction does this object have to accelerate in for its velocity to increase? So in this case, you should notice that the acceleration term should point in the same direction as the velocity term. And that's going to indicate that the velocity of this object is going to increase. Now, it's increasing from negative 5 to negative 25 meters per second. The velocity is becoming larger in the negative direction. So in order to figure out this object's acceleration, we're going to go back to the definition of acceleration, which says that acceleration is the change in the velocity per change in time. That is how fast the velocity changes. And that's going to work out to be the final velocity of the object minus the initial velocity of the object divided by the time it takes for that object to change its velocity. And in this case, the final velocity of this object is negative 25 meters per second. And then we're going to subtract the object's initial velocity, which in this case is minus 5 meters per second. And then we're going to divide this by the time it takes to change this velocity, which in this case is 4 seconds. Now, what you need to do is say that negative 25 meters per second minus a negative 5 works out to be a positive 5 meters per second. A negative times a negative is a positive. And then we're going to divide that by 4 seconds. Now, in this case, minus 25 plus 5 works out to be minus 25 meters per second. And we're going to divide that by 4 seconds. And when you do this, minus 25 divided by 4 works out to be minus 5. And our units are going to be meters per second per second, or meters per second squared. And this is going to be how fast the velocity of this car is going to change. Now, another way to think about that is if our acceleration is negative 5 meters per second squared, then what's going to happen is every single second, the car's velocity is going to increase by 5 meters per second. So after one second, the car's velocity is going to go from negative 5 to negative 10 meters per second. The velocity of this car is now increased by 5 meters per second in one second. And again, notice the negative sign here because this car is traveling in the negative direction. After one more second of accelerating at negative 5 meters per second per second, this car is going to go from a velocity of negative 10 meters per second to a velocity of negative 15 meters per second. The velocity is increasing again in the negative direction. And after one more second, the velocity is going to go from negative 15 meters per second to a velocity of negative 20 meters per second because it's accelerating at negative 5 meters per second every single second. And after one more second, the velocity goes from negative 20 to negative 25 meters per second. Now again, notice that in each one of these velocity terms, the velocity is a negative number, and the acceleration is a negative number. Not only the direction in which the velocity and acceleration vectors are pointing, but also the signs of the numbers are the same. The velocity of the object is going to increase. Now I'd like to do one last example with this problem. In the previous video, we said that the final velocity was equal to the initial velocity of the object plus the acceleration times the time interval over which this object's velocity is changing, that is, over the interval of which the object's accelerating. What I'd like to do is just find how fast this car is going after three seconds have elapsed. So if this object's initial velocity is minus five meters per second, then we're going to add a minus five meters per second per second. This is how fast the velocity is changing. And then this delta t is three seconds. This is the time over which the object's velocity is changing. And so what we get is minus five meters per second 
plus a negative 5 times 3 works out to be negative 15. And then our units are going to work out to be. And then this second cancels out with this second, and we get a unit of a meter per second. And then what's going to happen is when we add minus 5 plus a negative 15, we get negative 20 meters per second. So the velocity after this car accelerates for 3 seconds will be negative 20 meters per second. And if we go back up to our motion diagram, the velocity here after 3 seconds worked out to be negative 20 meters per second. So that we have two different ways to find the velocity of an object after some interval of time has elapsed.